Hey, hi, hello, how's it going? I hope you are doing fantastic. Today, I have something that is very big, both metaphorically and literally, and that is the Chrome XL Glow Kendama to crack open. I am going to unbox or I guess unbag this thing, tell you what it feels like in the hands, the specs, the dimensions, some comparisons to some other kendamas, maybe where you can find one for yourself, and yeah, all the details that you could need to know. So I think without any ado at all, we'll crack this open. But yeah, so I mean, the, the packaging does not leave too much up to the imagination, but I haven't felt the paint or anything yet. I got this as a gift. I do know if you are interested in one, they kind of, it's it's a pretty old toy, mod, whatever. It's, it's nothing new. They pop up on Amazon, whether you're in Canada or the States or Europe, it's gonna be different. I don't know if Chrome actually sells them on their website or not anymore. So look around, you could dig for them, even if you have to find one used or something, if you are interested. I know this came from Amazon, but I don't know how long they'll be available or if they're still even available at all. Very excited to see how the paint feels. And it is called the Chrome XL Glow because it is supposed to glow in the dark as well. Maybe we'll give that a little test after, but let's, let's cut and let's not damage anything. Gotta get the crinkling nice and close to the microphone for you. Okay, we do have a little extra string and a chrome sticker, but we're not really interested in that. So I'm getting like a, whoa. It's got like a, an acidic smell. I was not supposed to be doing a smell test, but it does, it's got like kind of a vinegary ring to it. <laughs> Anyways, the paint, is there, is it like, it's like shiny. Whoa, it's really interesting, okay. It's almost like a textured rubber. Oh, the light's gonna really blast that out. But uh, almost between a rubber and like a light sandpaper, it's got definitely a roughness to it. I'll try to get some B-roll footage of the Tom up close so you can see what I'm talking about. Feels good in the hand. Let's pop that off. Oh. Very hefty. Before I get to any of the super detailed specs, I just want to get it into its final form. Okay, so a couple of wood burrs that I wanna kind of flake off. The first thing I'm noticing is that the spike looks quite short. I don't know if that's important, but let's feel the paint. Oh, if you can hear that, it's, yeah, it's almost like close to sandpaper, the texture on this, cause it's not physically sticky in my hands, but it's really rough against the wood, which I mean, could be good for some, some lighthouse tricks, some lunar tricks or whatever. But yeah, now that we've kind of got the heft under control, the, st the str string is like not even any fingers, but obviously it's it, this is longer than a regular kendama, so the string length of your hand is gonna go below the thing. But that's how long the string is looking. My pinky might just be hanging out there, like fancy. Anyways, first let's really break down the size. So something in this kind of genre of jumbo kendamas that you might know of is the Sweets Sumo. And if you go take a look at the Sweets Sumo on their website, there's this little chart and it shows you the size of the Sumo compared to some regular damas. And you can see that the Sumo falls between what Sweets considers their regular size and then their biggie size. And this is almost on par to the Sweets Biggie. You see on the chart, it says 23.5 centimeters for the Sweets Biggie. Note, that's not the Sumo, that's the Biggie shape, which I don't even know if they make anymore. But this Chrome XL Kendama is 25 centimeters tall. So it's more in that Biggie size. A Sumo would be a lot shorter, maybe a similar Tama size and Serato size, but the actual Kendama would be a lot shorter, like this way, you know, might look like this or something. For those visual learners that uh, we have here, I've got a couple kendamas here. First, one of my favorites, the Chrome Pop, not the new Chrome Pop LOL, which is LOL their paint? I don't know, somebody let me know what LOL means because I just think it's funny. Anyways, so this is a their old standard shape and you can see next to the XL, it is absolutely dwarfed. These go very well together in that 
nice fitting mediocre green that we love to have on the channel art and such. But there's your side by side comparison, just so you know what we're dealing with. I mean, I could do a cup comparison and so on and so forth, but I think you get a pretty good idea just in hand here. And then I also wanted to compare to a bit of a bigger but still standard shape, which is my new, or kind of new still, analog pigeon. So in terms of standard kendamas, this one I find pretty large. And you can see, again, absolutely dwarfed by the XL. Now, another interesting spec might be the weight, which I will find out. Now, keep in mind, a regular standard size kendama like these ones over here would fall in like the full setup would fall in like the 140 to maybe 160 gram range with, you know, the Tama being 70 to 80 grams, the Ken being 70 to 80 grams. Some are obviously lighter or heavier, but that's like the average. So I will later on weigh this and I will throw the weights up right now so you can compare them. I'm gonna assume it's almost probably double what a standard would be. I'll give you the weight of the Tama, the weight of the Ken, and then add those up is the total weight of this Kendama here. Comparing to a 140 to 160 grand standard Kendama, I'm imagining this is very, well not very heavy, but heavier. It's definitely heavier. Something I guess interesting to note is that it's just a full solid Tama design, no tracking, no nothing just a nice big hole on the bottom. And maybe since we have some more kendamas here, the spike is like proportionally shorter, which I find interesting. If we look, like see, like the spike is almost the same size. Is it, is that just me? Let me know if this spike, maybe because it's so fat, does this spike look proportionally shorter than this one? I think it does, but that's not too important. Another very unique feature, like I mentioned, is the fact that this, claims to glow in the dark which when I had it sitting in the package on my desk like for the last two days and I would go to bed I could see like a little tiny bit of glow coming from the bag so maybe now that's out into the exposed environment we'll get some good glow of it I'll try to get some camera footage if in the dark maybe tonight or something if this is glowing and I'll put it right here if it did glow and if it didn't glow then I'll let you know that it didn't glow all right it is future me for current me, but past me for you either way. But I have had a chance to play around with the Chrome XL glow for a little bit. And before I get to the glow ability, which is why we're in the dark, I will say just with a little bit of hands-on, I know it's like blasted out by the light right now, but with a little bit of hands-on, this thing is huge. Like I didn't realize when unboxing it how actually big this felt in the hand. It's heavy to play, it's fun to play, and I'm really enjoying it. So stick around if you wanna see it more, it is a good time. Now for the glow ability, I will say it does glow. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this light here and maybe you'll be able to catch a little bit of the glowiness. Can Yeah, you can definitely see that on camera, I think. So it definitely glows. Now, does it glow enough to play it in the dark because that's probably you know what you'd want out of a glowing kendama is to play it in the dark and I will say yes but it definitely adds a bit more of an extra challenge it's like it has enough glow to like see and the fact that there's like one dark black hole that isn't glowing signifies the hole where you want to get the spike in but I didn't realize this until now, the spike and the Ken obviously doesn't glow and using the spike to track your tricks is a lot more important than you may realize. So while you can see the Tama and the hole pretty well in the dark, seeing the spike is not too easy, but it's fun to play around with on the cups. The glow ability is there and before I start to seize up and go blind, I will kick it back to current me for me and still past me for you. Good night. Uh, wasn't that glowing or not glowing very exciting? Of course, I have been giving it like a couple Obligatory wiggles as I sit here, but I, I do want to get like a good real session to play with this So now that you know all the details about it and the specs and the size and <laughs> everything that goes there I will be making a video maybe a week maybe two weeks maybe three weeks who knows how long doing like kind of a cut commentary on my thoughts on not just this shape, but in general, how I think a big shape, jumbo kendama shape could help you or how it's fun or not fun or better, not better, trains you to be better. 
all those things, I'm gonna give this a lot of play. And then yeah, I'll come back at you with another video in the future of my total giant Kendama size opinion. But yeah, so with that, pretty simple. I think you've seen everything there is to see behind the Chrome XL Glow Kendama. Very excited to have it. Wanted to share this little unboxing and first impression experience with you. Now all that's left to do is for me to go play it. So I hope you did enjoy. Stick around if you wanna see this big boy again in the future. And as always, have a fantastic day. Peace.